Okay, sounds great. Um, all right, so, so let's uh, welcome everyone. And this is a great event. Um, uh, so uh, thanks to Trade Thirsty, Jeanette and Hubert for putting this on. This is, uh, I think Fridays on Black Friday are a great time. Who would have thought all this stuff would unfold on Thanksgiving with uh, the, the global variant now hammering markets right now. But let me share my quick thoughts on where we are right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what's, here's what's interesting. This is an indicator that I have right here that's designed to measure broad-based buying and selling on the New York Stock Exchange. Now, this is a little, this is aside from the topic I'm, I'm talking about today, but um, just weighing in what's happening now. Now, here's the weird thing, all right? So this is the, this was detecting heavy selling by the institutions a couple of days ago. So it started in the 22nd, carried over the 23rd, 24th, and uh, basically you can see here it turned red. Now, it hasn't been red that much over the past really year and a half or so, but the institution started selling a couple of days ago. So you wonder what kind of insight they had on what was about to happen with the global variant, but they were dumping their stocks a few days ago. Again, this is this is tapping in directly to the New York Stock Exchange, which is the cornerstone of the stock market. So this is one of my favorite filters because institutions comprise about 89% of the daily stock market volume, which means that what they do is where stocks go. So if they're aggressively buying, stocks are going higher. If they're aggressively selling, then stocks are likely going lower. So uh, right now they're sellers. Just keep that in the back of your mind. And until they turn into buyers again, I think it's something you really got to watch. So let me uh, uh, compress my chart here a little bit so you can see where it's been. You can see it's been strong buying here for, you know, for the past couple of weeks. And, um, and now it's turned into strong selling. So that's where we leave it. And I would, I would uh, both as an investor, and as a trader, this is a good perspective. Uh, let me show you a quick glimpse of what happened uh, with COVID, you know, back in 2020. So uh, let me go back in time here. So this is what happened with COVID um, with the institutions. They started dumping their stock in February, and this is what detected it. So before anybody really knew in the stock market, before the financial channels were uh, talking about what was what was you know going to come, this is what happened back or and we'll call late february last year so we could see with these indicators the broad based selling on the new york stock exchange so the big boys were quietly dumping their stocks while everybody went about their daily lives financial channels didn't start to panic i don't think until probably mid uh march or so but you can see this and then they turned around and started buying aggressively um, in april so you can see how the you know the buying carried over and stocks started really taking off the upside so it's a great indicator gives us a little perspective here but um the other thing also, let's go ahead and kick things off with the presentation. So that's a backdrop right now. I'd say be careful. Institutions are buying, are selling. They don't do that that very often. And uh, they started doing it before the news broke on the COVID variant in South Africa. Uh, by the way, funny uh, quote, I know a lot of people from South Africa. Uh, I've been living internationally. I was actually born outside the United States as well. So funny quote from those guys. They're like, look, uh, COVID is what you get on a good day here in Africa. So they've got all those other really nasty diseases, uh, you know, that, are, uh, that can kill a whole entire populations down there. So their comment to me was like, ah, we, we don't care about COVID. That's what we get on a good day down there. So uh, not, you know, not, obviously they need to be worried about it, but that's kind of a funny quote. All right. Well, welcome to the explosive traffic pattern for trading, trading options. Now, today, more than any other day in recent uh, days and weeks highlights why I love buying options because you can sleep like a baby at night, you know the worst case scenario is that you only lose what you pay for the option. No matter how wrong you are, you cannot lose more than that. I'm gonna show you a trade where I couldn't have been more wrong. I was on the dead wrong side of Oracle. They had the biggest down week in history and I only lost the amount of money I paid for my option. That's when you're an option buyer, it's a great strategy. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite strategies and uh, patterns that I look for and you're gonna be able to do it yourself if you're interested and trading options, and I'll show you why I love the pattern. So this is called the explosive traffic pattern for trading options. Now, my background is in the hedge fund space for about 20 years. I love uh, using charts to develop indicators to forecast where prices are likely to go, and I love developing quantitative models as well, designed to trade the markets uh, driven from price data. So that's the side of the markets that I love to be on. Let's quickly cover some standard risk disclaimer language. Trading involves a high level of risk and is therefore not suitable for all traders. Before deciding to trade, you should carefully consider your trading objectives, level of experience, and ability to tolerate risk. Also, hypothetical uh, risk disclaimer. 
CFTC Rule 4.41 simply states, hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. So just understand that as well. Make sure you take the time to understand the risks of trading. That's what I love uh, so much about Jeanette and Hubert as well, is that uh, they want that for everybody. They're not, it's not about, you know, the, the, make sure you're okay. Make sure you're only trading with money you can afford to, to trade with and, and subject to risk uh, before you start focusing on making money in the markets. Now, um, starting out, let me let me give you the backdrop for this, this pattern. So this is a pattern that I don't want to say we accidentally uh, discovered, but but it's one that, that we uh, discovered through our first trade alert program for options that we launched back in January of 2017. So, in, and this is the backdrop. So this is just the, how we came about this pattern story. So let me just quickly cover this. Back in January of 2017, we launched a new options trade alert, alert uh, program designed to publish trade alerts for people who wanted to buy options. The program was designed to beat the markets through probabilities, using a number of different option strategies um, and strategies in general. So each week we would broadcast 50 to 70 option trade picks. And after our first 24 months, we finished with some fairly exciting results. So after 24 months, uh, we had 1,027 trades that each made over 100%. We had 365 trades that each made over 200% a total of 2,383 winning trades. And then if you added up all the winning trades and losing trades, we hit, we were up 84,994%. Now, it's important to understand that our trades had three potential exits. We had two profit targets and like a hard stop end of trade exit. So the way we calculated these results is what's called the optimal exit. So we used the most profitable exit. If profit target two, for example, is up 250%, and profit target, I'm sorry, the end of trade exit was up 300%, then for these calculations to be consistent, we would use 300%. So that's the consistent way we used uh, to make these, or come up with these profits. We had plenty of losing trades as well, like every strategy does. This is a uh, performance graph, assuming you're risking 1% per trade. You can see we did have down weeks. Now we occasionally had down months as well, but overall it did pretty well. So we had a lot of explosive big up months as well and the, the track record was good. Now, this is not the story, this is the backdrop. Now, we were pretty excited about our first 24 months, but we had one really, really big problem with the alert service, and that is that normal retail traders cannot trade 50 trade picks or 70 trade picks a week. So we had a lot of people come up to us and say, hey, can you just tell us like the best three trades to take? And in one you know perspective, that's a funny question. That's kind of what we all wanna know, right? And the other side of it, it's actually a really good question. So we had people saying, look, you know, can you go through, study your best winning trades, study the best patterns that you're using and, and call it down, you know, give us the, the, the best signals if you will. So that's what we did. So we dove in, we started really researching what do many of the biggest trades have in common, the biggest winning trades. And so our breakthrough came when we noticed similarities among many of our really big winning trades. We found that when three, market conditions appeared, the stock would often experience a big price move. The three market conditions were like hidden clues that a stock was about to take off in the upside direction or drop like a rock. For example, in late 2017, when the Spider DIA ETF experienced the three bullish market conditions, it ended up taking off. So the way you look at this in the chart is each condition is like a light. And so when they light up green, you know, green means it's bullish, it's triggering bullish, and there's three lights here. So when all three individual conditions triggered bullish, then we broadcasted a real trade alert to buy the DIA 235 calls, and those jumped in value by 338%. So the three conditions, each individual conditions triggered bullish, and then this is a real trade alert that we published to our followers to buy the DIA calls. And for uh, your benefit, I gave or give up here a small account reference and a large account reference because a lot of people don't know what 338% means. So what that means is depending on how much, how many call options in this case you would have bought, if you would have bought $200 worth, then that would have grown to $876 for a small account reference. I also included a larger account reference if you would have bought $1,000 worth of these DIA 235 calls, 
that would have grown to four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars. So this gives you both, just so in your mind you can translate what is three hundred and thirty-eight percent. What do these returns mean in dollars and cents? Then in March of two thousand eighteen, when Wells Fargo experienced three bearish market conditions, WFC dropped like a rock. Now these conditions can be green bullish or they can be red bearish. They're the same conditions. I'm going to show you exactly what they are if you want to trade these yourself here in a minute. So the, this is the instance where all three of them uh, flash bearish and we got three green, I'm sorry, three red lights in this case, three red lights and each one is bearish. So when we got that, we published the trade alert to buy WFC 56 puts. Those jumped in value by 515%. So a $250 worth of these puts would have grown to $1,540 or $1,000 would have turned into $6,150, give you an idea what does 15 or 515% actually mean. Now, the three market conditions were like three distinct patterns, which we developed into the three lights pattern, or what we call the traffic pattern signal. When all three market conditions trigger at the same time, the stock would often experience a big move, either on the upside or the downside direction. Like when JP Morgan Chase experienced a bullish traffic pattern, you can see the three green lights here on the chart. Uh, this means that uh, these, each of these conditions turned bullish, they triggered bullish. And we recommended buying the JP Morgan Chase 98.5 calls. Those jumped in value by 568%. So $200 grows in the 1336, or $1,000 grows in the $6,680 with this trade. Or when Citigroup experienced a bearish pattern, and again, this is when all three of the lights turn red. You can see it on the chart. Three red lights, we broadcasted buying the Citigroup 73.5 puts, which grew by 400%. Now, if you're new to trading options, you wanna buy call options when you think prices are going up. Like when we get the three green lights, we buy call options. That's how you profit from rising prices and when you think prices are going down, in this case, we have a bearish traffic pattern confirmed, then we buy the put option. So that's where you make money, and that's the option you use to make money on the downside for those of you new to trading options. So uh, this is a real trade alert. All of these are real trade alerts. Uh, this is recommended buying again. The city 73.5 puts, those grew by 400%. So the small account reference, $250 turns into 1250, or $1,000 turns into $5,000. Or when UPS, excuse me, experienced a bearish traffic pattern, you can see the three red lights here on the chart. Uh, this is where each of these conditions triggered bearish. We recommended buying the UPS 111 puts. Those jumped in value by 413%. So uh, in this case, $250 grows to 1282 for a small account reference or $1,000 turns into $5,130 from this trade for a larger account reference. Now, when the traffic pattern appeared, stocks often had big moves and options in turn would jump in value because options can make big money when stocks experience big price moves. So in this particular case, uh, with this strategy, buying call and put options is, a, is the perfect way to cash in when stocks are likely to make big price moves. So with this uh, pattern, we decided to name this a new strategy, the traffic pattern, because obviously there's three lights, looks like a traffic pattern. We call this the traffic pattern option strategy or the three light strategy. Trading system flashes green or red to signal when a stock should go up or down. Now, the traffic pattern not only forecasts, as I mentioned, direction, but here's the really interesting part of this. It also predicts when a big move is likely to happen. That's different from what you see a lot of technical patterns, like a head and shoulders pattern, for example, is a bearish pattern. That's gonna forecast that a stock or a market should drop, should, should fall when it, when it develops. But it doesn't necessarily say that it's gonna be an explosive move to the downside. It just predicts direction. So a lot of the patterns that are out there are just direction patterns, but they're not explosive patterns. And we notice that this one, uh, does both. It, it forecasts the direction and it forecasts that explosive potential as well. So, and when you think of options, big price moves are what make options really explode in value. So, let me give you the background story for how I first came across 
multiple price patterns all triggering the same direction and how that could actually make it more explosive when that happens. So I call the story the power of multiple price patterns, real story, what I learned from a genius convicted felon. Now, if you're in trading long enough, you're gonna hear funny and very entertaining stories over time. I've got a, a whole slew of them myself. Uh, Hubert will tell you that, and Jeanette will as well, but this is a true story that I was told from a friend of my father's who became a friend of mine. And he's 30 years senior me, my age, so he's older than I am, and he's telling me the story about how in the early 1980s, this man, a good friend of mine, responded to an intriguing ad about a highly secret trading strategy. Remember, this is pre-internet, so he's looking through a trading magazine, sees an advertisement for this highly secret trading strategy in the back. That's what they do, the advertisements were in the back. And intrigued by the ad, he convinced his top client to spend $25,000 to buy this secret trading strategy. Now that's the part of this story that to me is crazy. I mean, this is 1980s, right? Like. Uh, and twenty-five thousand dollars is a lot of money back then. You can buy a, a nice BMW or Mercedes back then for twenty-five thousand dollars. It's still a lot of money today, but but back then it felt like a lot, a lot of money to spend sight unseen on some advertisement of a secret trading strategy. So they bought it. They sent this 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 unknown man the money, uh, wired him the money, and they they traveled to Dallas, Texas. This a friend of mine and his best client to meet the creator of the special trading strategy. Now, this is where the story gets really strange. True story. They get off the plane, they rent a car, they go to the address that's given to them, and then they, they show up in like a very mid normal middle-class neighborhood, which is kind of strange considering how much they just spent. So $25,000 trading strategy, they would have thought they would have shown up in a very nice part of town, but it wasn't. It was very average, very middle class. And so they get out of the car and they double check the address. It's the right address. They walk up to the front door, and they knock on the door. And this, this uh, mad scientist looking guy in a sweater with unkept hair answers the door. And the first thing he says is, can you guys meet me around the garage? So he doesn't even invite these guys into his house, even after spending $25,000. So they walk outside and the garage door opens and they walk in the garage. This guy comes in the garage from the inside of the house. Next thing he says is, I just got out of prison. So you can imagine what my friend is thinking and his client, is, his best customers is probably about to kill him because that's the last thing you want to hear, right? But this is where it gets interesting. This man was not a violent felon, uh, but rather he was put in prison for helping the Hunt brothers corner the silver market. And what he did was he was a genius scientist guy who built complex listening devices to help the Hunt brothers corner the silver market. And he got in trouble for that, had to serve some time for that. And while he was in prison, he decided to make good use of his time. So he researched all the charting grades. He wanted to learn everything he could about trading, he decided to spend his time researching Fibonacci, researching Gann and Elliott, and all of the greats in trading. And what he discovered during his slow days in prison was really remarkable. This highly intelligent man observed that certain chart patterns have predictive value. Now we know that today, but here's what's really interesting. What was really intriguing was that combining multiple chart patterns would often produce superior results. And what that means is, is not only could potentially increase the, the odds of the trade being profitable, but also would, would also oftentimes result in more explosive trades. That's what I thought was really interesting. So the accuracy of these multi-pattern predictions, the explosiveness of these incredible forecasts often would increase dramatically. So that's what I took away from this. I thought this was really interesting. And believe it or not, even as a young a college student, I, I had a chance to look over this $25,000 strategy. It was in the form of like a, a, a book. You know, he created like a bound manual for it. And so it was very interesting. But that, that combining, you know, all these different technical analysis together, when they all triggered at the same time, either buy or sell, then not only would that potentially increase probability of being right with the trade, but also more importantly, I would say it would increase the possibility of an explosive move. And today the traffic pattern follows the same principles that this man uncovered in prison. With our strategy, we're leveraging multiple conditions that signal when a stock is likely to take off or drop like a rock. When the three bullish traffic conditions lined up for Ford, for example, Ford ended up taking off like a rock, like a rocket. And in this case, uh, I remember the three conditions are represented by light. So all three lights in this case, all three conditions flash green, which is bullish. At the same time, we recommended buying the Ford 12 calls, 
those jumped in value by 177%. So in, in dollars and cents, again, what does that mean? Small account reference, if you buy $100 worth of these, that grows to $277 or $1,000 turns in note $2,770. When the three bearish traffic conditions lined up for the SPY, the ETF sold off hard. So in this example, this is um, where you get the three lights now flashing red. So this is bearish. And so we recommended buying the SPY 274 puts. Those jumped in value by 488%. Now, here's the thing to remember. This is not months or years, right? That's a big return. This is happening in days. So this, these are returns that, that develop very, very quickly when all three conditions uh, would flash. Now, it didn't happen every time, but it had that upside potential and that explosiveness, which made the pattern exciting. So in this case, again, 488%, small account reference, 250 grows into 1470, or a larger account, $1,000 worth of these 274 puts grows to 5,880. These are all real trade alerts that we published. And when the three bearish traffic conditions lined up for 3M, the stock ended up dropping. In this case, three red lights, all flashing bearish. We recommended buying the 3M 237.5 puts. It's funny, we have a live one right now that's also 3M. So I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, these are these jumped in value by uh, 532%. So 250 uh, grows to 1580, or 1000 grows to $6,320. So a lot of you are probably asking if you're like me, um, what are the patterns? So if you're interested in trading these patterns, let me show you the exact patterns. I'm gonna show you, pull back the curtain and show you what we're watching to create the traffic pattern strategy. Now the three patterns we observed before many of our big winning trades work together to make up the traffic pattern strategy or the traffic pattern on the charts. So condition number one, the first light is what we call surging momentum. Now with this, we're looking for stocks that have a significant increase in upside or downside momentum. Surging momentum must be present in a stock as the first condition for the traffic pattern strategy. Now, our real breakthrough came when we discovered what we call predictive momentum patterns. We discovered through empirical research that initial momentum surges were very difficult to predict. Oftentimes, these could only be predicted with like 15 to 20% accuracy. Therefore, we don't try to predict what we call initial momentum surges. We then discovered that continuation momentum surges could actually be predicted with much greater accuracy, upwards of 70% plus. Therefore, the traffic pattern ignores initial momentum and only focuses on what we'll call continuation surging momentum. So here's what this looks like on the chart. Let me pull out my pen here. Now, uh, you'll notice in the bottom here, this is actually a momentum indicator down here, okay? And the top, we have a normal price chart. And what, what I want you to draw your attention to is notice that there's a first you know, push in the green histogram bar. So that's positive bullish momentum. We're not trying to predict that though. That's the first thing we want to see for this pattern. So we don't predict it, we just look for it. And then you'll notice almost like a cyclical nature you know, to this momentum. So what we're looking for now is that secondary, what we call continuation or follow on momentum here with the green arrow. So that is the momentum that we're looking for when we see that that actually triggers the first green light. So that's positive continuation surging momentum. That's condition number one. All right, so condition number two now, uh, building on this, the second light, if you will, is, is from what we call cycle swings. Now with this, uh, then we look for a well-defined cycle swing in the direction of the surging momentum. We found that surging momentum often supercharges cycle swing. So think about a normal cycle swing like swing trading, but now you throw the surging momentum on top, that has the potential to supercharge the swing. So the cycle swings define the price action or the time period for the traffic pattern trade. So I'll show you that what it looks like here in the in chart, but the cycle swing must be present as the second condition for the traffic pattern strategy. So let me show you in a chart here what this looks like. Now we have a cycle indicator on the bottom. You can see very clearly the cycle of the market. There's up cycle and down cycle here that you can see just eyeballing this. Now, that's important to understand that the swing, the up cycle in this case, starting out 
at the cycle low, trading up the swing, you know, swinging higher and then peaking out. This defines the duration or the time we want to be in our trade. We don't want to get in early during the previous down cycle. We don't want to overstay or welcome during the following down cycle. We want to, as, as best as we can, be in our trade, in this case, options, during this uh, up cycle or up swing. And remember, we're only looking for the upswings when we see continuation surging momentum. So when we see the upswing here, this is our second clue or second light. Lights up green here, and that meets condition number two of the traffic pattern strategy. Now, uh, the third condition is what we call peaks and troughs trigger. The third condition is really more of a trigger, which enables you to get into the swings early on when they start. So that's what it's designed for. The trigger is designed to detect the beginning of a swing at the cycle low or the cycle peak. So let me show you what this looks like on a chart. Now on the bottom, we have our custom uh, indicator we call a trigger indicator. And this is designed to tell us when like the cycle low is likely in place. Remember, in an upswing, the cycle low is where the trade uh, supposedly starts. This is where the trade starts for every upswing at the cycle low. So this is designed to tip us off when the cycle low is likely in place. This lights up the bottom green light in this case because it's bullish. And all three of these indicators together form a traffic bullish pattern. And this is where we look to buy call options. So here's what they all look like on the same chart. In this particular case, you'll notice the top one, continuation surging momentum that turns on the top green light. Then you've got this upswing right here with the cycle indicator that turns on the middle green light. And then finally, you've got the, the trough trigger where the blue arrow is and that turns on the bottom green light. When you get all three of these conditions together, this gives us a bullish traffic pattern. And so in this particular case, when we get this, we're looking to buy call options. So when all three bullish conditions line up, we look to buy call options. Again, if you're new to trading options, call options are what give you the ability to profit when prices go higher. Now, traffic patterns can also be bearish as well. Bearish traffic patterns forecast when a stock is likely to drop. Okay, and remember, not only fall, we're also looking for those big moves, those explosive moves, and that's what's so powerful about combining the three you know, triggers of the three analysis together when they're all flashing at the same time. So for bearish traffic patterns, we first look for the opposite of the first case, which is bullish. Now we're looking for bearish. So let me show you what this looks like in the chart. Now, if you look at the left side of my chart, you're gonna see a big down move here, big red histogram, big bearish momentum. We don't try to predict that. And the reason why is too hard to predict because this can come out of nowhere sometimes and uh, we found that it's, you know, the, the predictability is 15 to 20% of the time approximately. So now we're looking on the second part of the second half of the chart here. We have the initial down surge and then you have the continuation momentum. So this portion, I'm going to circle it in blue here, is what we're looking for, frankly. And the reason why is it tends to be more predictable. So this lights up our first red light. Now it's bearish. We're getting a red downside negative momentum. So that's condition number one, I would say bearish condition number one. And then just the opposite of the bullish example, now we look for a negative down cycle. So you can see here in this chart, once we get that down cycle in place, this will now light up our middle red light. This is also bearish, obviously. This defines the time period that we wanna be in the trade. We'd like to, to buy the put option as close to the cycle peak as possible. And we'd like to get out of the put as close to the cycle low as possible. That's our goal. But when we see the downswing, our, our, our indicator finds it. This, this lights up the second red light. Again here, this is bearish. And then finally, we look for what we call the trigger, the top trigger in this case, designed to tell us when the cycle peak is likely in place. So in this particular case, we have the third red light. And this is again, telling us when the trade should start heading down, when the swing should begin. And when you get all three triggers lining up at the same time, we get a confirmed bearish traffic pattern. So let me show you what all these together look like on the, on the chart. You can see now in this case, we're looking for bearish downside continuation momentum. That is condition number one, turn on the first red light. Then we have the downswing, condition number two, turn on the middle light. And then we have the top trigger, condition number three, where the blue arrows turn on the uh, bottom uh, red light. All three lights fire off or turn on at the same time. This gives us a confirmed bearish traffic pattern. So this in this case, uh, when we have that, we're looking to buy 
put options. So with various traffic patterns, you buy put options. Why? Because we expect prices to fall. And that's what we're that's where we're looking to profit from, essentially. So when traffic pattern signals occur, they seek to forecast a big move in the stocks. And this is one of my favorite aspects of it. Now, when you're buying options, really, really important. If you take nothing else from today, you always want to be in the same direction as a swing. You don't want to be counter swing. If you're buying a call option and a down swing is happening, a down cycle is happening, you're going to lose both in time value and you're going to lose an intrinsic value. If you catch a swing, then you're still going to lose in time value, but you potentially could make money on intrinsic value and time value. So now time decay happens, but if you get a, a boost in implied volatility, then that the, the, the time value can actually grow in certain instances. And with with the swing, when you're trading with the swing, you get that boost of intrinsic value as well. So that's when you can get really big jumps in options. Now, uh, another example here is when Capital One Financial had all three bullish conditions, a bullish traffic signal was generated. And this is really a textbook example here where this is a real trade alert that we published. Notice that we had initial momentum and then we had continuation momentum. And then we had below that. So that's a red, uh, green light number one, confirmed. Then you have the up cycle swing C in the middle there, that's green light number two. And then you have the trough trigger where the blue arrow is, that's green light number three. So this is confirming a bullish traffic pattern. This is a real trade alert we published buying Capital One Financial, 87.5 calls uh, up 480%. And I'll show you here are the, the ones that just have closed out, the ones that are on right now, and how this is done over the last year with our service. So in this uh, case, one hundred dollars turns into grows into five hundred eighty dollars, or thousand dollars grows into five thousand eight hundred dollars. Or when IBM had all three bullish conditions, a bullish traffic pattern signal was confirmed, and IBM options increased in value. Now this is one case where I think it kind of fizzles out a little bit. So look at what my, uh, the continuation momentum flatlines a little bit here. So it's not as strong as the initial momentum still meets the, the, the first criteria, uh, lights up the green light for continuation momentum, and then the middle green light lights up for the swing, upswing in this case, and then the bottom for the trough trigger. We still have a bullish traffic pattern confirmed, but this one kind of fizzles out a little bit. So this is one that made 111% uh, uh, from recommending the IBM 152.5 calls. Not all of them are gonna be out of the park home runs. Now, here's the really interesting part. If you move to the right here, look what happens. We have another traffic pattern that happens right after the one we caught. So you have, and again, you have a continuation momentum that lights up the, the top green light, you have the upswing, and you have the trough trigger. We miss this one, but this one likely would have made you know two or three hundred percent or more. So that was a lot more explosive than the one we caught. They can happen one after the other, something to look for in the markets. And another example is with Norfolk Southern had all three bullish conditions, then we knew it was likely to jump in value. Here's a case again, this is a textbook one. Beautiful continuation momentum turns on the top green light, upswing turns on the middle green light, and then you have a trough trigger for the bottom green light. So this is a case again of 572%, uh, $250 grows to $1,680, or $1,000 turns into $6,720. Now, as I said before, traffic patterns are both bullish and bearish. So people ask what happens if we start getting a bear market mode like we're seeing right now? No problem, we start looking for the bearish traffic patterns. So in this case, it's just the opposite signals that we're looking for uh, when they flash red, like when the Aetna, uh, or Aetna had all three bearish conditions confirmed, we knew it was likely to sell off hard. In this case, we have the continuation bearish momentum, we have the down cycle, and we had the peaks trigger, all three red lights lighting up at the same time. We recommended buying the AET 175 puts. Those are up 202% in value. So 250 grows to 755, $1,000 grows to $3,020. Again, translating the percentage return into dollars and cents. And when Tata Motors had all three bearish conditions, we were confident it was about to sell off. This is a case where I think it kind of fizzles out in this case. So not all winners are gonna be out of the park home runs. Sometimes you have some that just, they go in the direction. We're not complaining about 120%, but they're not all gonna be, you know, uh, three, four, five hundred percent winners for the big winners, right? So in this case, you get all three bearish conditions were met. Officially, we got three red lights, and this is a real trade alert where we recommended buying the a TTM 26.5 puts. 
those jumped in value again by 120%. You get the idea. 250 grows to 550 or $1,000 grows to $2,200. When Norfolk Southern had all three bearish conditions confirmed, another example here, we forecasted that it was likely to drop in value. This is one where the timing was off, and this is going to happen too. So notice that we get the three red lights, but top to our NFC does not move down right away. It actually goes against us for a couple of bars and then finally drops. So yes, this is a winning trade example, but we it diluted our winnings uh, because it, the timing again was off with this particular signal, traffic signal, and that, that can happen over time as well. So again, uh, 250 grows to 537 or $1,000 for a larger account a reference uh, grows to 2,100. And 50. I'll get the questions here in just a minute, guys. Let me just uh, cover some of the essentials here. Now, when you think about options, if big moves in stocks can make big money trading options, and here's, a, here's one of my favorite parts of buying options, and that is our risk is always limited to the price we paid for the option. And let me just touch on this for a second, because this is a great point. Think about a, like, let's say we're, we're predicting prices are going to go up for a stock. And let's let's create like a quick right wrong meter here. So let's say we're a little bit wrong, stock doesn't go up, but goes down a little bit, or a medium amount where stock falls a pretty good bit, or we were, were catastrophically wrong. All right. So we've got the wrong meter here, either a little wrong, medium wrong, or really, really wrong. Here's the beautiful thing. If we bought the calls, we cannot lose more than the price we paid. So let's say we paid hundred dollars for the call options. Our worst loss cannot be more than hundred dollars. And that's I think today is a great day to highlight that. You know, something crazy happens around the world. Who knew, right? COVID variant in South Africa springs up while we're all in Thanksgiving and something crazy happens in the market, right? If you were long the calls or long the puts, you cannot lose more than what you buy. That's one of my favorite aspects of trading options. Now, here's the good side. Let's look at the right side meter. Let's say we're a little bit right on the trade or medium right or really, really right. And now, if we're buying call options, our profit potential is much, much greater than the cost of the option of the premium. So if we buy $100 worth, we could make $200, we could make $300, we could make $500 on our profit side. And so this is a great, uh, great way to, I'd say, uh, trade the markets because, again, the sky could fall, black swan event could happen, you're not going to lose more than the value of your option and you buy an option. And the flip side is when you're right, like a couple of, uh, of markets today fell, we had puts on them for the live uh, traffic trades. And those were good because we're going to make, you know, a lot of money, a lot more money on the upside potentially than what we're risking for the put options today. Then it's possible the traffic pattern may be one of the best ways to swing trade. I think it is. In fact, this breakthrough trading strategy could be one of the best ways that we've seen to trade options. And the reason why I say that, it's a big statement, is because you're trading in the direction of the swing. When you're buying options, you always wanna make sure you're trading in the direction of the cycle for the time frame you're trading. And here's the added bonus. We're not only doing that, we're adding that element of explosive momentum. So when we have momentum's on our side as well, then that, that ends up helping a lot. The best part of the traffic pattern is, it's incredibly simple. So once you get these ideas around the three lights, it is incredibly simple. Now, here's the funny thing is my, my trading desk guys and I were always researching different things. I've got always, you know, tons of different strategies and ways and approaches to trade the markets. But what really convinced us of the power of the traffic pattern was a series of real option trades that uh, I made. So in this case, uh, ironically, the worst trade in the group was not a traffic pattern signal, but all the best trades were traffic pattern trading signal. So these are real trades in the markets. Uh, here's a list of them. And this is not typical. This is a, a an exceptional period where there were just a ton of traffic patterns. And, and it doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. So this is not normal, but it can happen over time. So let me first talk about the biggest losing trade here. Let's start with that. And that's an oracle. That was a different strategy, ironically, it was not a traffic trade. But this is where uh, each trade risking uh, approximately $1,000 on each trade. So this is a trade that was down, just got crushed. Oracle, uh, this is a trade where I was buying the Oracle 52.5 calls, and it was a down $1,000. Now, this was the biggest down week ever in the history of Oracle. Why? Because surprise earnings came out. So a loss of $1,000, and that's good news. And you may say, Mark, how in the world can you say 
losing a thousand dollars is good news. Reason why is I I wasn't punished as badly as I should have been. I was on the wrong side. Think about this. I was on the wrong side of the biggest down week in Oracle in the history of the stock. And I could only lose the cost of my premium. So there's a protection when you buy options. So this is good news. Now, if you go over here to the right, let's look at the first traffic trade. This is buying the 15 calls, UVXY. That first traffic trade made $3,024, risking $1,000. So now net net, after the first winning trade, right, we're still profitable by $2,024. Pay for the losing trade, and we made uh, an additional $2,024. Now, here's the interesting part of this. So if you look at the right wrong scale, right, I was completely wrong. I was devastatingly wrong for Oracle, right? But I was protected because I bought options. And I was moderately right. I think I was pretty right. It's a pretty good trade for UVXY, but certainly not historic like the like the Oracle trade was. And look, it still was able to make more than I lost for Oracle and put me in the plus column. So that's why I like buying options. But look how many uh, explosive option traffic pattern trades we caught. U, U, uh, UPS, this is buying the 110 puts made $3,852. Each one of these trades risking approximately $1,000. UNH made, and that uh, that was buying the 225 puts, made $4,555. AT&T buying the 37 puts made $1,885. The SPY, which is the S&P 500, buying the 237, five, uh, 273 puts made $4,592. Now, SDS, that was actually a really good trade, but we got uh, just gouged with the bid ask spread and that was one that should have been up a couple thousand only up 84 bucks i will never trade sds again unless they can show me liquidity i should have known better but got totally uh i don't want to yeah i was just gouged on the the entry and the exit so that was just slight profits should have been much much more profitable i don't recommend trading this i'm not going to trade again until they can show me much better liquidity uh procter and gamble is a nice winning trade i was buying the 79 puts made three thousand twenty four dollars you get the idea Navistar made 1,240 bucks. These are all traffic trades. MasterCard made 2,960. Uh, Johnson and Johnson made uh, 2,730. Uh, Home Depot made 2,250, and then Goldman Sachs made 4,440. So this was very, very explosive. And there's even more. Apple made uh, 3,588. Aetna made 540 bucks. Uh, DIA made 2,853. So it rained traffic pattern trades during this one exceptional period. But what this did for my team and I was really caught our attention. Like, wow, this is really a, a pattern that's worth focusing on. A mere, like an example, if you would have risked more than I did uh, on these trades, if each one of these trades would have risked thousand dollars, you would have risked two thousand uh, dollars. Then this would have made ninety thousand approximately in about five days. That's really explosive trades. Now, after this week of trading real money, my team and I really began to understand the power of the traffic pattern. And really started to appreciate it and the explosive nature of it. Now, let's talk about losing trades. Notice there was a 99% losing trade there. That was not a traffic pattern trade, but it highlights the fact that there will be losing trades. So this was another strategy. I love the fact that you cannot lose more than the cost of the option, but it's also important to understand there are going to be losing trades, uh, traffic trades. They happen frequently, and our goal is to keep those losing trades as small as possible. I'm going to show you the track record here in a second for the last year. Uh, and also Keep in mind, no trading strategy in the world wins all the time, right? Let's keep it real. Our goal as traders is make more money from our winners than we lose from our losers. The thing I love about traffic is the winners can get quite large sometimes. If you catch some explosive trades, they're much higher potential than you're risking on each trade. So it's okay to see 99% losers when you're finding large winning trades like plus 196 or plus 434. That's what the traffic pattern is limit the losers and target the really big winning trades so the next question is uh for you guys uh, those of you asking well, how do i start trading the traffic pattern so if you're interested in doing that first way you could do it if you're a do-it-yourself or like i am get a list of about 150 optionable stocks uh, every day go through them just just toggle through them you can go through them quickly if you put them on a watch list look at your charts look for the traffic patterns when all three trigger then you can track them and trade the pattern. So three bullish patterns, you buy the calls, three bearish patterns, you buy the puts. So I encourage you to do this. If you're like me and you really enjoy you know, spending your day in front of the computer uh, and you're kind of a nerd with the markets like I am, hey, it's fun. And, and you, you have everything you need here for the most part. Now, uh, we did, I did show you an internal 
uh, peaks and troughs trigger. You can use one or two bar candlestick patterns, reversal patterns if you want for that. You can use MACD for your momentum indicator. MACD is a good momentum um, indicator as well, the standard on most platforms. So there are the tools out there and the things you can use and customize a little bit. But again, I encourage you to do this if, if you're a do-yourselfer like me. Now, if you fall in that second category where you're saying, you know what, I don't want to spend my days in front of my computer screen, Mark, can you just tell us when you guys find traffic pattern signals? The answer is yes. You can let our hedge fund research team, using our trading tools or powerful scanners, find traffic patterns for you as well. Now, our professional trading desk team monitors 150 hand-picked stocks every day so you don't have to. We expect to find approximately 5 to 10 traffic pattern option trade alerts each month. And when we see them in real time, we send it right to your email inbox, again, telling you all the details. So we're going to tell you the exact symbol, strike price, and expiration date for every traffic option trailer we send out. For example, in this one, buy Amazon 3750 calls expiring September 21st, 2021. So there is no gray area. We've done a lot of research on which options to buy and, we, and which, which expiration dates to work with. And we think we've got a pretty good system in place. It's simple enough and you get the email that my eighth grade daughter can do it. So very, very simple. Just put on the trade and you manage it. Best of all, we're gonna target traffic pattern trades like this one. This is Capital One Financial. This is a real trade alert. All three green lights fired off. We recommend it buying the uh, Capital One Financial 87.5 calls. Those jumped in value by 480%. So $100 worth of these calls grows to $580, or $1,000 worth of these calls grows to $5,800. Very explosive potentially in the upside. Or we also track bearish. So if we look at the markets today and say, man, wouldn't it be great if we could make money from falling prices? The answer is yes, you can. So this is a real trade alert where we had three bearish traffic alerts fire off, and we recommended buying the SPY 274 puts. Those jumped in value as prices fell by 488%. So 250 turns into 1470 and 1000 turns into grows into 5880. Now, if you're interested in following our alerts, that's not all. We want you to master the traffic pattern strategy. And along these lines, I've created a special report called the traffic pattern exposed. In the traffic pattern exposed, I'm gonna walk you through the trading system soup to nuts. Everything you see here, along with clear examples for you to follow. So here's the contents of the special report right here. So I'm gonna go over each individual um, condition. So surging continuation momentum, condition number one. Cycle swings, condition number two. Peaks and troughs triggers, condition number three. Combining all of those together, it's called confluence. When you get that more explosive factor, when they're all our potential out there when they're all fi firing off at the same time. Uh, examples, lots of traffic pattern examples, both with call option examples and also with put option examples as well. Now, what if you're new to trading options? No problem at all. I've created a library of quick start videos designed to introduce you to the basics of trading options to get you started. So here's some of the topics that I cover in the videos. So number one, now how do I call option? How do I put option? Uh, setting an option account up and requesting clearance. Uh, what is the option chain? Uh, understanding some of the basic Greeks. What is Delta? What is Gamma? Uh, how to close out your trades and take profits. Uh, what kind of software do you need to trade this? Um, how, to, how the underlying charts relate to option valuations. I also have created an options uh, position sizing calculator designed to help you know how many options to buy. And then lastly, this is all designed to target those really explosive, you know, two, three, five hundred dollar trades and these are not months we're not talking months here we're talking about days very very explosive trades that can develop very very quickly so th uh, this also is included this is my option position size and calculator and with this all you're doing is uh, you know input your account value and how much you want to risk per trade and then input the different trade alerts in there and it's going to calculate how many options it recommends and how much the total cost or risk would be you can look at that and see if that's what you want to do so it gives you just a very simple way of calculating how many options you should trade for your account size and risk tolerance. Now, if you're interested in following our alert service, we created the traffic pattern ultimate alerts. And this is uh, so basically scan. This is where we scan 150 optionable stocks, handpicked stocks looking for traffic patterns. These alerts are sent directly to your inbox 
And if you have a, a smartphone, you can have a push notification. Your email can pop up. I've got a new email alert from the traffic pattern a service, and we're going to give you everything you need. You're going to get the symbol. You can get the strike price and expiration date. We've removed the gray area. There's no gray area. There's no guesswork at all. We give you the entry price reference. We give you one profit target for every alert. And then for winning trades that start to go our direction, we also introduce a trading stop. So you can let trades really develop into something that sometimes much, much bigger trades. Uh, for prop, profit targets are included with every trade alert. And I'll show you how, uh, see we had uh, 3M hit that this morning on the, uh, on the open. Now managed by our professional hedge fund research team working for you. And we have professional customer service that is available to answer your questions. Now, ordinarily, six months of the traffic alerts would go for 997. Ordinarily, the traffic pattern exposed would go for 997. And the on-demand, or the uh, position size and calculator, on-demand videos, excuse me, 650, position size and calculator is 100 ordinarily. All this normally priced is 2744. Guys, Black Friday special with trade giving, slash it down to 495. First 25 people, uh, give us a call. You want to go to or go to www.toptradetools.com forward slash go, and we can uh, get you taken care of. So this is the link you want to go to, www.toptradetools.com forward slash go. Let me see if I can just copy that in, and then I'll answer some questions here. Let me cover one last thing here quickly, uh, and now I'll hit your questions. Thanks for your patience, by the way, guys. So again, I copied this link in the chat box www.toptradetools.com forward slash go or give us a call 859-963-3445. Now, I showed you a series of real trades where any one of these trades could have not only paid for six months of the service, but also paid for a year. This was risking $1,000 in each one of these trades. It was, it was a atypical period, but it had a lot of traffic, explosive winners. And we find these, we're very confident we could find these over time. With our service, we're using real hedge fund scanners, powerful scanners, our own analytics and tools to find these trades. We have one of the few alert services in the world managed by a professional hedge fund research team. It's almost like having your personal research team there designed to find traffic pattern trades for you. Now, we're so confident that we can find these explosive traffic pattern trades. Here's Mark's 3,000% guarantee. Now, we have to find over the next three months, I'm sorry, six months, excuse me, six months, 3,000% uh, of winners. These are the total winners. Now, you're going to have losing trades, and that's going to deduct from this. Just understand this. But this is the winning trades that we have to show you that all added up together over the next six months have to make 3,000%, or you get six additional months for free. And that means myself and my team, if we don't hit this target for these winning explosive traffic pattern trades over the next six months, we're working an additional six months for you for free. And again, uh, it's it's trades like this. This is a real trade alert here, uh, DIA, and see if it's pulling up here. Uh, we broadcasted the three green lights showed up. We broadcasted by the DIA 235 calls. Those jumped in value by 338%. So again, uh, the link you want to go to is www.toptradetools.com forward slash go. All right, let me just hit quick questions here. We're running out of time. And thanks for your patience here, guys. Um, this is the alert search. So uh, one question is, well, how is it doing now? What's on now? And and um, how's it done since you started the alert service? So here are some of the trades that, were, that are on right now. Now, you came into today with some puts on, which is good. So you had gold calls on made money today. Johnson & Johnson puts, F, uh, Facebook puts, and 3M puts. 3M puts hit the profit target. So a lot of these are heading the right direction. And funny enough, Aurora Cannabis actually was stabilizing. So that might actually be one that still could go our direction. So GPS is the only one we're dead wrong on. So GPS is gonna be a losing trade, but this gives you a little bit of a flavor. Let me just show you, if you scroll down here for all of you registered today, you can see all of our past trades. So this gives you a little bit of an idea uh, of what these look like. Now, since inception, we're up 4,049%, including losers. So that's winners and losers. And uh, you will have losing trades over time, just understand that. Now, the way this is calculated is using the, the optimal exit. So for example, if you have, um, like in this case right here for KMI, profit target was up 39 cents, uh, but end of trade close was uh, was at 33 cents. So both are profitable, but we use the optimal exit of 39 cents or whatever the more profitable trade alert 
exit. We that's how we're tracking our our alert. So it's a little bit of an ideal depending on where you get out. You know, if you get out of trade alert or if you get out at the end of trade exit, it's going to determine you know how much money you make over time. But so far, we've demonstrated a lot of winning trades that that get out at end of trade and uh, and also potentially at the profit target as well. Now, let me just point this out, guys. There are going to be losing trades. You can see it here on the track record, right? So, like right here. Um, so right here, you see, um, like for example, this was a recent one. KR 40 calls. That was a nice winner. That made 275 percent. Now ET uh, nine nine point five puts. That was a small winner. That made 32 percent. Cost uh, COST made 100 uh, percent. HON made 97 percent. Then we looked at a string of losers. You had MO 44 puts that lost 47 percent. So what does that mean when you say lose 47 percent? Well, if you bought a hundred dollars worth of these puts, you would have lost 47 dollars. Does that make sense? So it's a percentage of your your premium. Uh, 3M right here. Uh, the current trade actually is making really nice profits right now, but this earlier one that was down 43 percent. So if you bought um, you know 300 dollars worth of these, you would have lost about 130 dollars or so. And then uh, the flip side of that is our Cisco up here, uh, 56.5 puts. Those ended up making 186%. So if you would have bought, you know, $130 of those, you could have sold those for $390. Does that make sense? So uh, so far so good. We're really excited about the service. And then let me just scroll down here quickly. This is the page where you get all your resources. So I need to, to wrap things up. Let me just cut a couple questions. But this is where you get the ebook, traffic pattern exposed, uh, position size and calculator some additional support videos as well. We want to make sure that you really understand how to do this and we include all that as well. Um, after six months, guys, what happens is this rolls into a monthly service. A lot of people have asked, how do I stay after six months? So it rolls into $97 a month automatically. If you determine after six months you want to do it yourself, you want to trade the traffic pattern yourself, give us a call, no questions asked, we'll cancel your service. But we have a lot of people calling up and say, hey, can I get six months for the price of five? Can you for 495, would you give me that same deal again? Yes, give us a call. We're happy to give you the six months for the price of five again, or automatically rolls in $97, as I said, uh, due to a lot of people asking to stay with the service. Uh, what is cause? Yeah, so uh, Lee got your question there, I think. Um, okay, this is a price for six months, correct, Roy. So this is gonna be about, this could be upwards of, of 60 alerts. Now think about 60, up, upwards of 60 traffic pattern alerts. Uh, maybe I'd say probably likely to 45 to 60 is where I think it's going to end up landing. But you get a lot of traffic pattern alerts. My team is is monitoring this real time throughout the trading day. Uh, hey, Pedro, how long do you keep these trades on? A, a a trade, a winning trade could stay on for 10 to 15 days. So sometimes I mean, you hit profit targets that tends to happen within five days. Uh, losing trades, we have those as well. We want to kick out if it's a if it's a bust pattern. We don't want to take the full 100 percent loss. So uh, what we try to do is, is kick out like 30% or 50%. So we'll send you out an email that says, just get out of the trade. It's a busted pattern. Uh, so live to trade another day. You know, we do that as well. Okay, how do you determine what strike price to buy? Generally speaking, Eric, we're going for the, for the at the money strikes. So Al, okay, do you provide stop? We, we provide, there's no stops. You don't want to use stops. Your, your stop is the price of the option. So that's how you're managing risk. And I recommend do not risk too much in any given trade. Make sure you're consistent with how much you risk on each trade, because you're gonna have losing trades over time, but we also believe you're gonna have lots of nice explosive winning trades as well. Uh, uh, Jeanette, I apologize, I'm guilty of going over. I'm hopefully not messing up your schedule too much here, but uh, I no, think- No, we're good, that good. you're right on time, brother. Covers it, yeah. And happy Thanksgiving to you and your family and everybody else here too, Jeanette. 